The indie studio Cerber Games made a video about a simple trick to make your 2D games two times faster. We tried it and it works great, so we decided to share the word. In this video, we'll show you how to use that simple optimization in short. If you want to get all the details, go see the original video and subscribe to that channel. The link's in the description. This trick involves turning the visibility of nodes off. For each visible sprite, every frame, the engine has to calculate if it's on screen to know what to render. It's quick for one sprite, but the more you add, the heavier it gets. The good news is, Godot will skip any node with visibility turned off, and it will also instantly skip its children. So when you have a bunch of sprites together and they go off screen, you want to turn off the visibility of their parent. And you can do that easily with the visibility notifier. The exact performance gain will depend entirely on your project. If everything holds on one screen, you don't need this. But in the games most of us make with big maps, this trick alone can double your frame rate as shown by Sabair Games video. In this demo, we have a bunch of generated rooms just to simulate a large level and test the optimization. Right now, the frame rate is pretty high, but it's 1200 roughly. And what's happening is Godot is checking every frame if every sprite in the level is on screen and has to be drawn. Now, I've made a checkbox, and if I turn it on, we will be using visibility notifiers, uh, one for each room. So if I turn that on, you can see the frame rate counter more than doubles. And this scales with the size of the level. The larger the level, the more the optimization will help. So the problem is that for each of the sprites, Godot needs to check every frame if they are on screen. Until it makes the calculations, it doesn't know. But we can skip those calculations by hiding the parent node, because if a parent is invisible, all the children are invisible. And we can use a node to make that fairly easy and efficient. This node is the visibility notifier 2D. So you want to add it as a child of the node that you want to toggle, our room in this case. And whenever the visibility notifier enters or leaves the screen, it emits a signal we can use to toggle visibility. The node draws a little bounding box that you want to scale to cover the entire area you want to toggle. Then you can use code like this. I first get the visibility notifier node, and in the ready function, I connect its screen entered signal to the show function, making my room visible, and I connect the screen exited signal to the hide function, hiding my node. Finally, you need to set the visibility of your nodes to false by default, otherwise you will not benefit as much from this optimization. It's because the screen exited signal will not fire at the start of the game, because it only fires when the node actually goes from being on screen to being off screen. And with that, you can enjoy much higher performance in your games. Um, when you have large levels. The amount of frames you will gain will depend entirely on the structure of your game. Note that to unlock the frame rate like I have here, you have to go to Project, Project Settings, and you want to search for VSync. It's on by default in Godot Projects, and it will limit the refresh rate to your monitor. So if you turn it off, you can get higher frame rates and test the performance gain. As usual, you can find the open source demo on our website and GitHub, the links in the description. This video and demo are sponsored by our courses. We have Learn Code From Zero for Beginners. It's a complete course to get you started with game development and has tons of lessons and interactive practices. If you're more experienced, you'll want to check out Godot Node Essentials. It's the biggest knowledge base about all the things you can do with nodes in Godot. Be creative, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.